it's clear that what we are saying as a Zimio is that uh, we condemn the budget and the finance bill in total, and we actually reject it from this platform or reject them from where we start and are asking our members of parliament to hear it, hear the members of the public, listen to what we are telling you. You are elected to represent the people, not to represent the disaster in the name of Ruto. And why do I call him a disaster? He has reduced school feeding program by two billion shillings. He has reduced the education budget by 25%. Special education by 35%. The primary education by 20%. We can actually see the return of provincial administration in full swing to the point where the chiefs are now required to ensure that you have complied with your tax requirements. <laughs> Back the dark old days. I think it is important to also note that the special protection PES there has been reduced by 3 billion shillings. We have 16 days to the end of the financial year or something like that and you should be on the lookout for the mother of all times in terms of corruption. The stealing that will happen between now and the end of the financial year it's something that if it was addressed the last, financial, uh, last uh, time when you were budgeting and leading the finance bill, the burden that we have already gone through would not have been occasioned on Kenyans. Why? Because there are very many of the votes that have not been exhausted. And they will be doing everything else, including buying of shoes and belts, to ensure that they exhaust that money. His Excellency has mentioned about our former president. And I think what he was saying, in short, what I heard, is that um, in the last financial year, his office had been allocated something like 600 million shillings. Throughout that period, he had only received 28 million shillings. The barons, the barons had also been spent. And alikuwa nauliza, nani alikula wa Kenya wa abiwe? Na wache kuwabiwa kwamba alipatiwa. And why you need a committee to answer such a simple question, it actually helps you to know that Mwizi must be part of that committee or one constituting the committee. And I want to say this, ni manise na kusema, ya kwamba this double speak wale ambao wako na magali msome vizuri dongo jana amesema if you look at what he led and presented there is no capping on the 100 on the motor vehicle tax in his presentation there is no capping ni gine tulikuwa tunasukushwa hapa wa Kenya is what was uh, given a cap of 100000 so you start working on the cost of your vehicle or the value of your vehicle and uh, know the corresponding amount of money that you need to pay on an annual basis I think it is not useful anymore, uh, perhaps to own a car. But I conclude by saying this. Look at the way they abandoned all the improvement on the transport sector, public transport sector. If that had been uh, achieved, many people would choose to use the public transport and avoid buying cars. So you abandon one way and you kill us through the other way. We have a disaster budget, a disaster, a disaster finance bill, and a disaster regime. Wa Kenya, let us send these guys home. Let them be a one-term regime. Na wale ambao wanafikilia ya kwamba utakaa kwa hiyo chimo ya ukora, na waze kusanya watu watu wakufuate ukiwa kwa hiyo chimo ya ukora, kwenja ukweda ukandaganya watu uko kwa village ama bali gini. We are not going to be fooled again. And again, I want to repeat this. Don't think that when you apologize and say all the other things you are saying, we are going to follow you. We are not going to be part of that. This is the alternative. And you are working on it. I thank you. Thank you.